Are you coming back with the grand? I'm coming back. Okay. okay. Is it live? I don't know. Is it live? All I know is I'm clicking the screen. Yeah, Rick has gone. Is it live? It looks live, right? Hope you guys are enjoying the tournament! Amaz is ready to cast for the grand Are you casting the grand finals? Well, I'm casting it with Rick. No, yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I'm just uh just gonna talk to you. Bring guys. back Rick. Yeah, Cole. how how did you guys think? It was a good a good tournament? It's been nice, great fun. for me. Yeah. yeah. I've loved it so far. I mean yeah. honestly dude, like we need more trivia Hearthstone. Like no. every every tournament needs to have a lighthearted portion, I feel. Right. Just right, to kind of right. break the monotony of just this, this, like only gameplay, okay. whereas like chaining decks, just having yeah. like a break in between would be good. Yeah. That's what the Hoscups are so for. Some pushes are good, right? Yeah. Yeah. That was good. Yeah, the guy who made it must be a genius. Yeah, I don't know who who decided to remove, you know, Dr. Boom from the pool, Drew the Claw, wow. Lothab, yeah. Emperor Thorson. Wow, the format guys. I heard it was uh, Archon of Moss HS. You should probably follow him on Twitter. You should probably follow him on the stream right now. You're probably watching him. What a play. You know, wow, that guy just does everything. Yeah. Don't sub. But buy a shirt. Crowdmate.com slash Archon. It's a must. Crowdmate.com slash Archon. Oh, you have a Crowdmate? Yeah. That is great. Awesome. Is it made by the crowd? Yeah. Okay, Crowdmade. Cool. Um, that is a great shirt, by the way. Oh, oh, oh Rekful's here. Rekful's, yeah, kind of here. I to think, the grand finale! I think he needs a break. But he's going to cast anyway, guys. He loves you. It's my fourth in a row? Fourth in a row, baby. Wow, not fired, though. Yeah, not still not fired. You're mm -hmm. doing a pretty good job. I'm surprised. Because I did this. So, um, Zalay's supposed to suck at the game, but as it turns out, he's in the Grand Finals, so he doesn't suck that much. And um, it surprised everyone, because he was doing good at Trivia, said he lost 06 in every other phase, but now he's just kind of rocking it. Just brought it all back. Yeah, do you, do you think it's because of Purple? I just kind of uh, telling him what to do? No. No. I think. Skamaz shirt. He's got a Skamaz shirt. Because of that top deck Malganus. That, that was, uh, that was Shocky, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, you were saying Zelay. I was speaking of Zelay, but we can talk oh, about sorry, Shocky sorry. too. I was just out there, and Admirable was telling me that Shocky, he's like, Ch Shocky's finally gonna win an event. But, you oh, know, God. it was really based on trivia. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and Admirable is a bit salty, because he's like, I won everything, but then I lose. I mean, he's still got a pretty good spot, so. Coin Creeper's so good here. Yeah, it's a really good way to defuse some of the Paladin Burst. You know? It actually might uh, hit it and then flame trigger. I like that. Then you get punished by the abusive in the other guy's hand, though. In Zalay's hand. In Zalay's hand. I no longer say the other guy because I have graduated commentating school. And, uh, I don't know. Uh, who, who, who gave you that graduation? Confirmation? Um, Frodenk? Frodenk. Okay. He said as long as I don't say anything racial. Okay. Or... I forgot all the stuff he told me. Something about <laughs> so, so something about sex, probably. Mm, yeah. I said the word, so we're probably already screwed. But on the off chance that we hadn't said the word, we'd be race, good. Race, gender. Race, gender. Politics, Sexual religion. Orientation, politics, and religion. That is absolutely it. Nicely done there, this creeper play. Recognizing that Flame Juggler gets abusive 99% of the time and loses. Very nice, very nice. Yeah, are you impressed? I am pie checking in my chair. <laughs> what does that look like? Like this. Okay, too bad we don't have a webcam. Oh. Okay. Fight, oh, pretty cool. Yeah, that was a good abuse there. Now. Get in fight! The flame juggler. Maybe. Will it hit a minion? Either one's good. Quite frankly, I think it will face. Bam. Okay, the best. That was awesome. the best. That has to be the best. Because uh -huh. now you keep your little 2 3 alive, and you've got a non charging South Sea deck hand on the board to ju just establish dominance. That card is actually never charged during this tournament, even when it's not a weapon. Once. Oh, that draw there. Boom. Boom. You know what? I will give the edge to uh, Zelay here. Void Collar into Doom Guard is just. So strong. Yeah, but Keeper of Oldham on Doomguard is also pretty strong. Mm. Mm. Anything can happen. Yeah. 
Okay, we just shred our trade here. I don't see any other possibility. Well, shred our face. The Warlock is, is on 20. You're playing a highly aggressive Warlock deck, uh, a Paladin deck. So I could see a world where you just punch Let face. Because what is he going to do on 4? Implosion? Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty good. I guess it protects against Argus every day. Oh, this Void Collar. Yeah. Feels good, man. I hope he top decks. Uh... Okay. Yep. Nope. Would have gotten implosion. Would have gotten either Argus or implosion. I mean, like, there's there's no demon he top decks that he's not happy to play, right? Like, I was gonna say if he top decks a, a, like a low cost demon, doesn't matter. He just plays it beforehand with Argus at one because there's no demon besides end gang boss. Um, like, would cost him more than that, and then you just slam Doom Guard. So, I might kings to face. I do kings to face. All right, but I lose the PO, so maybe I don't. Yeah. How do you feel? I mean, I don't mind it. Once, I, you I you look at that. It. You're just staring at that void call. You're like, oh man. Yeah. Oh man. I know. You play keeper of the out of your shredder after attacking. That way, it doesn't sacrifice itself. And wow. you can never spawn a demon. It's actually kind of pucked champ. Then he just argues his. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, then, and then you're doomed. But I mean, it, like you're technically. You're damned if you do, and you're damned if you don't. I think he's just gonna south sea and Uldum on it and go face and pray. Yeah, I actually don't mind that play. It's pretty good, because I mean, if you pick up Divine Favor, it still maintains some semblance of value, which gives some merit to discarding your hand with Doomguard. You want with South Sea Kings? Face. Okay. Boom. Now we're going to see Power Bombing on the Void Caller. We don't want a Demon draw here. Okay, it's not a Demon. Power Bombing on the Void Caller. Bump the Shredder. And when you get your Doomguard, maybe you want to kill the minion that comes out of the Shredder, and then try... Doom! No, it's Shadow Boxer. Good enough. Okay, we kill that, and then we Flame Juggler that 2-1. Or implosion. Or no, implosion, implosion, implosion. Implosion is likely sure. a ton better, right? It's way better. Yeah. Sorry. It's fine. Spaced out for a sec. For a sec. Oh, you've done four in a row, right? So I've done four in a row. I had to do a 45 minute priest versus warrior game. Well, you you did it pretty well. Yeah. Thought. Yeah. You, you, you guys did a good job. Yeah. Every time something happened, I was excited. Like everything you said was exciting. All those times something happened, huh? Every time. Wow. I love every single thing you said there. It was a great game. I appreciate it. Yeah, that's how you graduated, I think. Like I commended you to Frodank and. What do you what? I don't know what you did. What happened, right? I'm back. Okay. He's crashed his inner thigh. So all of a sudden, thoughtfully. this looks. This looks like it could be close. I would prefer to be the Warlock here. The Argus is just really good. Argus is good. I yeah, the Warlock's, the Warlock's chilling. You think you just Argus on Doomguard at a 1-1? One, one. So, like, I have a question for you, Redful. Like, Kill and then try to Flame Juggle? This is a very important question, so I would ask that you, you pay attention. Paying attention. Here we go. There we go. Let me see the Flame Juggle first. Okay, I'm paying attention. What's up? All right, so why does Defend of Argus give taunt to other minions when he's supposed to be defending. Whoa. Well, he's like a general or something. He like teaches people how to defend, you know? Oh, I see. So it's like it's like when you teach, right? Like you're failed, whatever it is you do, and then you just kind of teach to people. And hopefully one person you're Yeah, like commentators. With. Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> uh, although, yeah, it's... Uh, it's a great life to have. Kind of Argus is chilling, basically. He used to be a 3-3. Couldn't be played in this tournament if it hadn't been nerfed. Wow. Can you imagine that? That's Different world we true. live in. So Defender of Argus used to be a 3-3. So did Shattered Sun Cleric. Oh my god. Dark Hour Dwarf's buff used to be permanent. Yeah. All those cards were so good. Yeah. Abusive was only friendlies, so you couldn't play BGH in mid-range like Demon Lock. Uh, with it to buff enemy minions. Lots of things changed uh, over the course of Hearthstone's life. Ooh. But one thing never did. Ooh! Top decking jugglers That's was okay. always good. So that juggler. Yeah. Uh, you walk into the Doom Guard, you knife down the, the Imp and the Abusive if you're skilled. I, I might be okay with it going face too, but I don't know. Yeah, I don't like that. Okay. Skill. Why didn't you run it? Uh, oh! Uh, oh! Yeah! Oh my god, the skill there was just insane. Ugh. I love that. 
Oh, See, now the kind of scared. He's like, do I life tap here? Like, yeah. this is pretty... Yeah, it's, oh, goodness. Dangerous, all of a sudden. Well, those two ones, two. either of those two ones would have just killed that knife juggler. Right. Suddenly, he's yeah. not having fun. <laughs> well. Let's open the chat. I want to see the pog champs. There's not a lot of pog champs. It's just a bunch of. Oh, uh, there's gachi guys. There's just a bunch of gachi guys oh, everywhere. Yeah. And uh, foreheads. And some pog champs. God. So. Well, the, the Paladin can't top deck lethal, but he can top deck one off. Well, why couldn't he play Leroy, right? Who knows? Oh, actually, he does play Leroy. In that list, it wait, just wait, makes wait, wait. sense. There's we like, saw Leroy. There has to be it was Leroy in the mulligan. Jenkins. Yeah. It's there. It has to be in this list. Here we go. 19 cards left. He masked over. He's like, okay, one out of 19, I get this. Does he play Reckless Rocketeer? No. Come on, man. What is that? I know what it is. It's a 5-2. Yeah, the one that you'll remember because everybody will call the new Huffer from Call of the Wild Reckless Rocketeer. Since it's always a 5 2 when it comes out. Here we go. Leroy. Skill cans. That is still a lot of damage. Is he dead on board though? We're looking at. 11. No, he's not dead. 11. So you might just punch. But you punch maybe for just four. Because he's playing Arcane Golems. You need, you need at least to put the Warlock on. He has to think about his top decks. Uh, two silver is at least the one you want. So want Decide how much he wants to trade, yeah. So. Four face and trade with two. If arm. you run consecrate, you might want to go all six to face. True. Uh, I don't know if he runs consecrate. If you don't run consecrate, you definitely trade. Well, he's thinking about his top deck trade now. So double true silver Leroy. We know that much. Yeah. Is there hammer of wrath? I haven't seen one. You know, we know there's divine favor, which doesn't do much in this case. So that's two dead draws, assuming there's two. Oh, everyone's spamming true. 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 True, they're all spamming, true. True, true. I saw them. True nation. So, Oh, uh, I guess he has Consecrate in his deck. He yeah. went straight face. And maybe Cog Hammer, too. So the Warlock wants one damage. He can't life tap. That's kind of a nice bonus. Oh, oh well, there that's we it. That, that'll do it. What's up? Yeah. But it, it is nice to put them at two, because they can only draw one. All right, that's people. the one thing. I was like, maybe he considers the life tap potential. Um, yeah. Which is good news. That, you know, if Zoe had had only one draw, what was in there? There was the PO. The abusive. I don't think there's another abusive. The Argus, the Doom Guard. There's still yeah. a ton. There's still a ton. Yeah. But I wanted to see the Paladin draw one more card. However, we haven't mentioned that, but Shocky has the advantage being a winner. So now it's one one. Um, Shocky started with one free win, being that he got to the winners' finals without really kind of trying, right? So okay. Uh, he's got the advantage. I'm doing my face here. I'm thinking a lot. I need to look at you. What What's going to happen? Do this face, do this, do this. Why? I learned, this is how you commentate, watch. Just do this, do this. just do it, just do it. Yeah, we're thinking. We're thinkers. Me am smart? Nope. Well, going to the next one. Warlock vs. Warrior. I would give the edge to the Fire War Axe. <laughs> yeah, that's a good card. That. But well, sometimes if they creeper first and the imp gang boss, boss, then it feels super awkward. But with revenge and slam, you're super good, mm -hmm. no matter what, right? Lol. You would feel pretty good about like this. Hen this entire hen is good against no matter what Zoo plays, right? Because if they creeper to make firewire acts awkward, then you're still fine. If execute is there, you can deal with imp gang bosses at any point if something happens, and this deals with. Ooh. Uh, that's pretty much the hen we were discussing. Black Knight can kill a Belcher, swing the game a lot. I haven't like, seen there's, something, there's a Toshley though. I haven't dude. seen something get Black Knighted in so long. It used to be all Druid Mirrors, and yeah. everyone had Black Knight. And they would just be Black Knighting Ancient of Wars. No, it was Tunnelwalker. That's when it started. It was Sun Ancient of War too. Yeah, yeah, but like, you could always silence saw that crap. But the biggest, like the biggest swings came in like, oh, Sunwalker twice plus double Ancient is it? You have to play this with Judo the Claw. It was so nightmarish, man. Temple Rogue was good back then. Yeah, I like that. Deck. Yeah, that I deck loved was really it. fun. It, I loved it. Oh man. Assassin's Blade? Spiteful Smith as a one of. Mm -hmm. Good lord, the days. Rag. Ragnaros. Okay. Yeah. Let's go Creeper into Imp Gang. Um, into Knife Juggler and Arabian Egg. I like that. I I vote yes. Sometimes once in a while you're like, you know what? He doesn't have the access game, and you just drop your juggler, you're like, ah. Well, a lot of people actually advocate for just playing juggler. The thing is, how many cards did your opponent mulligan? One. He's got the axe. Yeah, yeah, Like, yeah. there is no chance he doesn't keep, like, a weapon. 
uh, in that hand. Yo, the bluff mulligan nothing. <laughs> you have like terrible cards, you're like, <laughs> your opponent plays nothing. I'll just just pretend I have the X, you know? It's yeah. like. Alex Straza, Ragnaros, Grom. Sounds like a good hand. Okay. Uh, you coin coin seems sweet. That's I nice. mean, you open yourself up to abusive, but that means his uh, his turn three. He needs to have a two drop. He needs to have a two drop to go with this. Okay, coins. Acolyte. And now, abusive would be the best draw. Nope. Dun, da, da, da. Nope. Not quite, but the egg is a, a close, uh, I mean, M gang works. M gang face. Yeah, it's pretty much the play. Starts to feel bad when the warrior's getting all these draws though. Mm. Yeah. Aw oh, man. Oh man. Aw oh, man. Do I have to? You're gonna go face, you gotta go face. What's a good warrior draw here? Bash. You set up the sickest revenge of your life. You just axe the one two and kill a one one. No, you kill the. Uh, you, you pop the imp the the imp gang and then you attack the creeper with the acolyte. You like that? Yeah. Why well, set up revenge? Yeah. You're oh, telegraphing it, but whatever. I just do it this way. Because the thing is, like the imp gang needs to go low enough that Argus isn't the problem. But I guess as long as you have damage and execute, you're good to go. Yeah. Another acolyte. Double juggle. You can actually juggler juggler walk the imp gang into the uh, acolyte and yeah. You, I mean, you well, might you, you might, might knife play it. One, you might play like one juggle, one juggler and then attack, imp gang in. and then and then nag. That's yeah. that's a nice play. Yeah. Juggler walk it in, so you don't juggle. Walk it in. You get walk that, it in. Get that one knife face from the imp spawning. Yeah, it matters a lot. It does. You're laughing you that, now. No, I'm not. You're I was laughing. Being serious. I was being serious. Sure, but you had a smile on your face. Just saying. That's min max. Yeah, I like it. If you're just a confident smarker, you just double knife juggler and they all they both the first one goes face. And, and then you hit the uh, MK boss into the acolyte and you get two knives, they both go face, it's great. Alright, good. I mean that could be a really all in play. This is this is the good play. Yeah. So this is a stable play, you know? This is just, just great. Just, just awesome. It's tasty. So revenge? Not quite uh the upside of like keeping the Yim Gang high health here is that you get the slam. Before you do anything, mm. if you ever want to, you might just slam the knife juggler, not draw a card, and then kill the MK. What if you pop the egg with your axe, take the damage, then you slam the dude, the, the, then you slam the M gang, and then uh, you're out of mana. Yeah, <laughs> you're dead. That was a good story. Uh, yeah. Why? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, one, one mana later and he had a good turn, but so yeah, there's some secret. This is this is a complete disaster. He did the correct sequencing here because had he melee, if you melee the imp gang boss first, it spawns the yeah. uh, imp and you get mine. But there's an argument for taking extra damage when you've got revenge for three. Yeah. No, there's not. The yeah. answer here is shut up, Nox. Oh, they, he has Belcher and he's probably good. gonna play it. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. He's gonna play Belcher and get black knighted. You don't see this every day. What if Doomguard? No, never. You gotta keep the Doom Guard no like the, the Black Knight knowing full well that turn five is where you either see the Belcher or not have to worry about it. He's considering not game. playing anything, because if he plays Juggler. He gives it a kill. Um, and he could save Juggler and Implosion combo. That's what he's thinking. And he that opponent already has the axe equipped to kill. I mean, I'll be honest with you, I feel like Zoo is supposed in this matchup to just exhaust the warrior the same way. It feels like nowadays when Zoo plays against Warrior, it feels like you're playing Shaman from the old days where you just spawn too many small things and they can't deal with everything. Because back in the days oh. before Imp Gang and Implosion, you had no such board flood. Like, Creeper was it. He might not play Belcher. He was massing over Acolyte and Revenge. Okay, I like that play too. I love it, actually. And uh, that would be way better for him, we know. Yeah. Let's I think he's, he's going to he do did. it. Okay, nice. <laughs> Nicely done. He would have gotten blown out yeah. right there by Black Knight. You can't ever expect Black Knight, so... <laughs> Nobody expects a Black Knight Inquisition. Nobody expects a Black Knight. Well, Night Juggler, Implosion. <laughs> Face damage. And the revenge is gone. Oh, he wants that four. That four face. Oh. Oh, my oh, God. Yeah. I'm feeling... Oh, here they go. Oh. oh. I wish it could go to negative health. There's a scenario where if you don't have priority, it used okay. to be that you could go... He has death bite, but he needs to wait for another turn for the death rattle. Yeah, I can't actually... I don't know if he has another turn. He does. I mean, if he equips death bite this turn... And then swings and slams the juggler, then sure. Because he has a double execute turn. So... That's the only play, right? Well, okay, maybe not. Let's think, let's think, uh... So many 
choices. A bit further. <sighs> Would you do anything but death by slam? I don't think so. It's really so that, tough okay, to then, make that call. I mean, you get to Belcher next turn, right? Your opponent has four damage on board, and yeah. he has nine damage in hand, so he's 13 damage. You live one more turn. You don't know that, right? But you expect to be taking at least like eight more, right? If you Nine's know. that number you always play around the Power Bomb Doom Guard. Yep, exactly. You're like, oh, she. So. I got a move. This bot attack, I mean, if he attacks with the. That means he's going to override the death. Oh, he's doing Belcher. It. Is that a Belcher? Yeah. No, he's getting Black GG. Knighted. Yeah, GG. Well, not GG, but it's going to hurt. It's going to hurt a lot. Oh, if he top decks Brawl, brawl and then, then he can melee the egg and then Brawl. And then he can. None. Okay, let's see. I see a world. Let's see the so. reaction of the Black Knight. Just a nod. Like he planned it all. Does he have like a master plan? Look how his lay has a pen in his hand. What does that mean? It makes him seem more professional, you know? Oh. Oh, he can't actually melee the egg. Whoa! He drew Brawl, but he actually can't melee the egg, which sucks. He can execute the egg first? Yeah, I would execute the egg yeah, first. You execute the egg and then you Brawl. Damn. Yeah. What else? Uh, you don't want the big minions to win to Brawl? You could shield block to stall if you can uh, like uh, slam execute the Black Knight. That buys you a turn, right? On paper. Okay, so he's at 16, where he has three, uh, he has three, nine in hand, 12. Okay, same situation. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's do... He's looking at his Doom Guard. He's <laughs> like, I'm going in. I want to pull the trigger on that, but he really He can't. might just power on the egg, go face, and Doom Guard and tap. Tap last. So you've seen one execute. Um, shield wow. Slam is likely never going to work in a spot like this. So your Doom Guard is likely safe from anything but an execute AoE. You've seen one revenge mm. and two slams. That seems about safe, actually. I like that. Uh, it's just really weak to brawl if there's a follow-up. Sometimes I'm thinking, like, eh, I just want to use... Th these cards are good, Argus and MK Boss. I'm just going to play those, and then I'll play my Doom Guard next turn. Yeah, like you starve them before but, um, anything else happens. It is, you're pushing which, four, right? Which decision you make here can lose the game. I mean, defend Argus plus M Gang Boss plus PO on the Egg is fine too. Because then you have a Doom Guard on empty hand. And you still PO push. on the Egg is bad against Brawl, though. Sure, but. I think you might just leave the Egg as an Egg. Yeah, I mean, it, as long as you keep something on the board next turn, you can yeah, do whatever you want. Yeah. I like? Okay. Now. Uh, revenge number two is probably one of the only ways he. Oh, that's yeah. good. That is useful. So if you brawl... Well, you you want to either execute the egg or bash the egg first. What if the egg comes out? And Irving comes out? Oh, can you Life bang? happens. Yeah. I mean, just to call armor up puts you at 15, you're probably dead in your mind. Probably gonna... Bash... Probably gonna bash out. He's like... The egg, see, the egg is staying on the board. You, you, could, if, you, if, you could bash the egg, right? If you the could, Warlock had Power Bomb the egg, you'd feel way better because you could bash the minion that comes out yeah. after, after you brawl. Then right. you'd be like, oh, I'm chilling. So uh, here he's hoping the 2-2 two, two Imp is the only thing that lives. Actually, better yeah, the 2-3. Like, it's it, it's bashable, uh, and it doesn't have power. Well, he needs... Okay, he needed a 2-2 two, two to live because the Warlock has exactly 11 damage, so if he had, you got the, four, the uh, Nerubian, you right. kill them. Abusive, p the second PO would do this. Abusive kills him right now, or PO, yep. Oh, there, that's he's it. dead. There it is. Easy. Perfect lethal. Well done, exact lethal there. By Shockey with the aggressive decks. And, um... That, that's a good game, though. Yeah, it was, a, it was a good game. I think there's a lot of different li little points where... Even the egg is an egg is a point. Yeah. Um, you mean as a, like a brawl deterrent? Yes. Yes. So, so, I don't know, Zelay is kind of uh, on the back foot. He's got to win with two decks and only one win less for Chalky to get in the best of five. Um, you look great with that duck face. Oh. You got to, like, accentuate it a bit, though. So, you, what's uh, what's going to happen next here? You got to make some self deprecating you know, what, jokes. What do you think is going to happen here? Self deprecating jokes? Yeah. Uh, that's, that's a good caster trademark. Well. How do, how do I squeeze uh, my baldness into a regular sentence? SI7 has more hair than me. That's just rude. Okay, so... <laughs> well, uh, I mean, what's the last deck? There, well, you mean for Shaki? Doesn't matter. He's got to win with one of two. He's got a sh uh, Shaman left. 
I think. Because he already had like one win guaranteed as a given. He's got Shaman left and the uh, Paladin. Okay. Why? So Shaman is smart. Yeah. And, and the uh, paladin. paladin is smart. Oh, Paladin's also smart. Yeah. Okay. So one more win for Shock, he will do it. But Zelay's got the Tempo Mage, which with all the one like little damage pings, is able to clean up a lot of the Paladin's board. So it really depends how you draw the key. He doesn't have coin. Coin is really important with Flame Waker. Yeah, and this hand is great for Shocky. Uh. The best games with Tempo Mage, you just drop your you get to drop your Sorcerer's Apprentice and they can't kill it, and then you drop Flame Waker, Mirror Image. Mirror Image. Yeah, I mean if you can pick up. Blast. Well, he doesn't have mirror image, right? Yeah, I don't think I've, I haven't seen any mirror images this tournament. We got it out of like we saw a few out of Conjurer, but that was it. Okay, this hand is sick for Shocky. This is like oh, wow. as good as it's gonna get. Yeah, You're just Finley here. Good lord. I mean, the one one here about oh. Okay, pick your pick your your choice. You Do smart it. or you tap? Okay, he took Smart. Yeah, that's a game. I mean, he recognizes he's got a really aggressive. In true Chalky fashion. He's smiling already. Look. Yeah, he's like, I'm good at this game. I'm really good at this game. And now the coin horse rider. Or abusive coin creeper. The creeper, okay. Um, how much better is the creeper? I mean, you're forcing the mage into a turn three where he has to ping the two one, okay, which means he does rider. nothing. Don't what does Zelay need to pick up here off the top? Mana Worm? Uh, the missiles? Unstable Portal could be okay. He wants Flame Maker for later. This turn he's just pinging the 2 1, probably. Oh. It's just gonna be a ping turn. I like that. I mean. Then Shredder, but his, uh, Abusive's gonna be so annoying. He's gonna kill the first part of the Shredder. And then he needs a Doomsayer. What if you Arcan Missiles? What, what if Arcan Missiles Flame Cannon now to reset completely? Assuming it hits the 2 1 right once. It's an overkill on the Finley every time. Unless it hits twice and then you can just ping it. I don't like it. Okay, because I was going to say... Muster you, might be coming next turn. Yeah, that's when you, you run into trouble. But you, you play a Shredder into the Muster, which is weak to Kings, but then your 2-drop is likely to clean them up. You can ping the 5-5 five five that's left. That's a lot of stuff, but if you want to have a 1-cost spell in your hand in case you draw a Flame Waker. You want to have Arcade Missile in case uh, they play Muster. I think you just ping here. I mean, sure, who cares about that? 1-3. You can't play Kings yet. Okay, seal a champion. No. Uh oh. Okay. okay Creeper abuse is fine. Yeah, great turn there for Shocky again, flooding the board. It's kind of tough to push a paladin off of this board unless you pick up the flame waker. Yeah. He's getting good this, pings this turn though. fine, but the next turn he really wants to have flame maker. Yeah. Let's see, arcane blast would also be pretty okay soon. Oh, that is not bad at all. Gonna give him a decent uh, swing turn where he otherwise would have nothing to do. I'd say five is like where you run out of things to, to play. Hmm. So uh, usually I would just drop my own shredder, but you cut your silver. I I don't hate to just play the shredder and just full go smart. full smart because you're you're in a position where whenever he starts playing defensively, that means he doesn't play maybe as many cards as he otherwise would if he floods, and you can just divine favor. To recoup that uh, disadvantage later on. Oh wow, yeah, that's pretty good. We're gonna have a shredder trade first, probably, or after they drop some minions. Do you think so? Because there's a chance he just kind of trades for value, because he's got every single minion trades with the shredder on the opponent's side. Um, yeah, he might actually shredder into the creeper before the missiles too. Yeah, that's a really tricky turn though. This is kind of the turn that makes the game, I think. I'll be just yeah. I wonder if he's gonna shredder trade or kill the creeper. Could you just? No, you have to play two spells to make this Mana Worm three, unless you trade with Shredder, as you said. So, I'd like to kill the Finley to remove all the targets for the... He's looking for the Flame Cannon. Missile. Yeah, I mean, if it hits the Creeper and you play Missiles, you're happy. If it hits the... You just don't want the, the Shredder, you're good. <laughs> Yeah, that's really rough. Is he going? Do you ever just ping the 2-1 and pass? You get missiles first, because then if you hit the Arbusive, you're going to target. But then, uh, how do you hit the Creeper? Oh... God, oh my god. Awful, you just ping here. But that means your mana worm gets traded into for value. Oh, that felt so But that's bad. good. Because yeah, the two health shredder still trades. Ooh. Ouch. Oh, that Wait, sucks. It's not that amazing. Well, it does give you decent trades. Yeah, you kill... I mean, you could play two silver and play that next turn. Like, no, you, you, you buff the creeper up, kill the mana worm, it lives with one health. But juggler! Shredder, kill the, yeah. the sorcerer's apprentice. Let I know. Me 
Mm, there's like five damage, so I mean the, the thing is you can't rely on your weapon to deal more damage to face. You can't. There's no it way you're funny that your knife figure just throws three knives without you dropping any minions this turn. Yeah. Just death rattles. And it feels like it should work, but it might not. Okay, so we're gonna see what's inside, and it's Mad Bomber. <laughs> yeah, where are my bombs are. Uh, yeah, not, not enough of them. Very good turn there. But that's actually more vulnerable to what Zelaya has in hand. That's a lot more vulnerable to what Zelaya's got in hand. Okay, so let's portal. Oh, maybe we just Toshley. I love Toshley. Toshley is just 3-4, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's trade sick. I, he's, you might trade like afterwards, because if you run into Nerf Bar or Mana Wraith, you're in dire, uh, dire spot. Okay, dude, I see I see what's happening here. On Civil Portal, is gonna give you a, like a heal bot, right? And Time yeah. Rewinder. Dude, off the Shredder, you want a stable ghoul right now. Vitality Totem wouldn't be half bad, but I'll take, I'll take a ghoul. I'll take a ghoul. It's awkward with either attack. Because <laughs> oh, how do you hit the oh, creeper God. in, the ghoul would kill both things under the creeper because the creeper is first. Kill, yeah, right. And you hit the bad bomber in, then it, it does. kills the mad bomber and kills the first part of the creeper, so nothing gets attacked that turn. The ghoul would have been so crazy. Yeah. So, um, well, that's one of the worst case scenarios. Um, it's among them. You know what we could do? Uh, we could knife juggler and, pop, and uh, true silver, the Toshley, then walk the creeper in. Sure. Uh, there's a flame strike in Zelia's deck, though. Do you want to expose everything you've got to an AOE? Like he's he's been holding on to really clunky cards. You can tell, based on the way he's been playing. Yeah, so. there's actually another way to play. You smork, smork, and true silver face and hero power. Right. You're like you're only weak. I like that. Let's do it. Oh, he did it. Yeah, you're only weak to like a frost bolt follow up, and even then, it's debatable. So. Smork time. Let's go. Yeah, I mean, on ten health, what's he gonna do? You have Hunter Hero Power. I like it. On Civil Portal, I believe. On Civil Portal can do some crazy stuff. I believe in Alakir. It never Alakir. does, though. Can it just give the craziest thing ever? Alakir. That's all I'm asking. Oh, dude. If they roll Conjure on 8 with Ice Block. Pretty good. Stable Portal. Alakir. Belcher. Alakir. Uh, King, King of Beast. Derps. I hate this card. It looks so ugly. But it's a taunt. It is a taunt. Let's give it that. It's good. Let's give it that. The attack doesn't really matter, actually. 2-6, it's fine. Yeah, it, it trades with everything here, so... Uh, Whatever. You... Just my... Dude, later on, we I can mean, time rewind that Lance Carrier, give something to attack. Yeah, you Counter might mean, smart. You'd probably just ping the Creeper, kill a 1-1, one -one, then play the King of Derps. Yeah. Let's go. This is really annoying, though, for Shaki. He was thinking, oh, I can probably just go full face and get away with it. Oh, the Lebanon's good. Yeah, very good. Like, the thing is, it empties his hand for the Divine Favor. He just, it doesn't like, I, I don't like that he can't Night Shuggler and Horse Rider, Leper Gnome, uh, Hero Power. That'd yeah. Be nice. I mean, you can always try to weave in all the Hero Powers in the world, right? Like, you play like a standard Face Hunter. I think if you, you uh, mm. if you Night Shuggler, Leper Gnome, and it hits the King of Beasts, then maybe you just Hero Power. Yeah, so probably. The charger. probably, honestly. Like, just gonna go. I think no matter what, you hear power. You have to hear power as often as possible in this spot, because the only way you lose is if... Uh... Yeah. Oh, that's good, too. That's very good. Let's see. That's that power. Very good turn there. Good smarting. But, we have Zero to say one thing. Can do stuff. Yeah, Ethereal Conjurer is the card that could win games. He likes doing things. And the thing is, if it doesn't work on 8, it might work on 9, given that he's got the Time Rewinder, so... Uh... You don't believe? He needs an arrow. He needs a he needs ice barrier. I want to say probably even more than ice block. Ooh. Okay. Mirror, mirror image. image. Mirror image. What? It's, it's three more hero powers though until he's dead, and there's a leper gnome, so he's gonna die very soon. He needs to push damage. Um. Okay. Mana worm. Mirror image. Mirror image. Trade trade. Uh, that's it. Yeah. Trade trade. That's it. You don't actually have to. You leave up the one one. You might, yeah. You have to leave up the one one. Yeah, you six to face. Uh, you can't attack with the conjurer. It just came in. Oh, it's just face that. Sorry. Yeah. So you have to. God, you can't. I got come for a while. Uh, you're gonna lose to the leopard in here, power. I mean, if if, he, if the leopard doesn't die, which maybe it doesn't, since mirror image kind of stops it, uh, then that might work. He's doing a full clear, right? So leopard is gonna attack into zero he went, with, he went with no mana worm though. Mm, yeah, it so pushes a lot less damage. It's got, it, plot. He, he's gonna kill him in two turns still, I guess. But he's gonna die before then. Unless the Leopardum doesn't die somehow. Oh my god! Well, that might actually be, uh... 
I'll wait for you. I mean, nah. Uh, Tommy Winder on Conjurer is the only one. Hero power and the Leopard on Death Rattle is too much. That uh, wait, is... does he have another unstable portal, or we've played both? No, there's another unstable. You need, like. There's another unstable. Otherwise, I think Shockey's taking this pretty much every day. Heelbot or something. Uh, By Tali Totem. Okay, so he has to get Tommy Winder on the Conjurer after this and find an answer. Uh, but even then, he dies to, like. Hero powers instead of dying. Like it has to be ice block because ice barrier doesn't work. That only t saves you one turn. Well, that's you like bad man. It. It's another three cost card that I'm not thinking of that works. Hey, that's a card. The question is, is your opponent ever attacking into your face with his board? I don't think so. No. So it's ice block or bust. And at that point, unstable has to be your top deck. Hmm. Had we had the mana worm? The previous turn, we had one more target for the Flame Juggler, and then had it not hit our big minion, we would have been pushing a little more damage, but still, yeah. I think we would have died too fast. Actually, we might have had a chance. Actually, like, two, the, two the thing seven. is, like, if he plays Mana Worm here, thinking he's no, fine, now, he's dead. No, now Mana Worm is too late. No, no, because you you, you keep her the 0-2, and you attack with the Lepernome into it. And now, yeah, now, now Mana Worm is too late. I'm saying before. Oh, okay. Remember if you played Mana Worm, that yeah, one yeah. turn where he... Uh, Flame cannon? He could have just left that one one up. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So Shocky's gonna go for the. I hope it's uh, it's not. It's ice barrier. And if it is ice barrier, then too bad. He might just block him up. Just silence it after. Yep. Drop another leper. Why oh not? My God. For good measure. For good measure. And that's uh, pretty rough. Shocky's about to win the whole tournament. Unstable portal Reno, and no, I don't think that's gonna work. There's gotta be a few doubles in there. Arcane Blast, Blast does he's nothing. He's gonna kill himself in Leper. And, and that's gonna be it. Shocky wins an event on after the back all of the Leper Dome. Shocky style. Yeah, pretty good. Uh, yeah. For some reason, I really wanted the game to go on a little longer. I want to see. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. I mean, I won't complain if Unstable Portal doesn't give me funny stuff, but I complain. I always complain. That being well, said, congrats, Shocky. I think that was, yeah. a, that was a fun tournament. It was really. I like the Jeopardy. I like the trivia stuff. There was the lightning round. Yeah. And there was the. I, I wonder how many cards I can name of whatever. I like That's that. actually pretty tough because sometimes you make the call before you think about them and you hope that you can just like, come, up, come up with them on the spot, right? Like, Strife Girl would, would put up like an eight and then it, it, they'd be like, okay, name them. And he named two. He was like, how many beasts are there with Death Rattle? And there were only seven. And he put six up. And he's like, Haunted Creeper? The beast. I main. Okay. And that's all he said. <laughs> I like that. Um, Jeopardy was nice. It was great. It the was part like... with the pictures where people were naming the cards, a little sliver of a picture, or like adding up the total attack, health, and mana cost. That was, that was, fun. That was fun. Yeah. The dragon, I, naming the dragons based on uh, their like one stat or two, I think that was really tough. That's the one I got with Zelay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the thing is, like, the image was always Dragon's Breath. So you could not think about anything else than Dragon's Breath. And every single time something came up, you just wanted to scream the name. So yeah. Amaz really did a good job of confusing us. Oh, someone said we look like brothers. Do we? We could, we could like... We got similar beards. I just, gotta, right. I just gotta like scream it more, right? I assume Skamaz is probably planning something out there that he's about to... Yeah. He's gonna switch the camera to that. And they're gonna be doing something crazy. Closing statements and stuff. You know? Yeah. So, so um, um, it was nice casting for you guys. Yeah, I had fun first time casting since that event where I said the R word. Yeah, I mean, saying rogue is a really big deal. Uh, last shout out to the sponsors because I'm the best commentator ever. Twitch, Twitch, Nata Gear, which has done really good giveaways, and Jelly Belly Jelly Beans Bean Boozlements. And then you can buy Skamaz shirts under the stream. Twenty percent for Recful. So if you want to support Recful, buy Skamaz shirts. You guys should uh, key into the living room and come out as well. And we're gonna okay. key into the living room Let's and go. come out as well. Are, are, are we here? I think we are. Oh, oh, we're we're, we're here. Um, hey. hey guys, hey, so guys. that's the end of the house cup. Hope you enjoyed it. But first, we want to congratulate a few people. First of all, uh, oh, we need to leave the word back. Well, in fourth place, Admirable! Woo! Congratulations! Woo! You went to events, but not quite the last one, but still, $1,000 for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty good. Trump? Trump, what's Trump? What's Trump? Oh, yep, Trump's right here. Congratulations. Woo! That's uh, 1500 for you. Uh, Soleil. You are uh, second place with the double, uh, double daily doubles. Yeah, well deserved. Yeah. And of course, Chucky is the winner of the episode one of Moses Kamaz. What? 
Not to uh, mention it, well, who's your teammate? Where's your, where's your, where's My your trusty teammate? dog. Trusty it's a dog teammate. Dog? We did it. We won. Oh, 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 oh. Congratulations. You also get the t-shirt I'm wearing. Oh, the Skamaj oh, shirt. Oh, and the phone number shirt. Congratulations. Thank you. Woo! Yeah, go to comment.com slash icon, right? But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in uh, episode two. Hopefully, the expansion will be up by then. And then uh, we'll get uh, a new group of people. Maybe we'll invite the, uh, some same people again. But yeah, thanks for watching. We'll see you soon. But Bye. before we go, Dog's going to take his shirt off. Oh, yeah. <laughs>